Section 32 of 1000 Things Worth Knowing. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Adele Pooley. 1000 Things Worth Knowing by Nathaniel C. Fowler, Jr. Old Time Ships the glory of the American Merchant Service, so far as sailing vessels are concerned, has passed into history. Comparatively few sailing vessels, save coasting schooners, ply the seas, as steam has taken the place of sail. The majority of old ship captains are either dead or commanding ocean liners or coastwise steamers. In the old days, sailing clipper ships made the trip from New York to San Francisco in 100 days while the voyage of ordinary ships was two or three times as long. The old ship Lightning sailed from Boston to Liverpool at a greater speed than that obtained by any steamship of its day, the vessel often logging over 500 miles in 24 hours, and it made the trip in a little less than 14 days. The James Baines sailed from Boston to Liverpool in 12 days and 6 hours, and broke the sailing record between these two ports. The same vessel made the trip from Liverpool to Melbourne, Australia, in 63 days, and returned in 69 days. The Red Jacket sailed from New York to Liverpool in 13 days, 1 hour, and 25 minutes. The Flying Cloud and Andrew Jackson sailed from New York to San Francisco in 89 days, and the Sea Witch made the trip from Canton, China, to New York in 74 days, 14 hours. These early clipper ships were quite small, many of them not being over 200 tons. The first large clipper ship was the Anne McKim, which was 43 feet long and 493 tons burden. Subsequent sailing vessels of enormous size were built, the John Bertram, having a tonnage of 1,080, the Gamecock, 1,320, the Stag Hound, 1,535, the Flying Cloud, 1,783, the Staffordshire, 1,817, the Sovereign of the Seas, 2,421 tons, and the Great Republic, 4,555 tons. Palmistry. The study of the lines of the palm which the ancients believed indicated character and future. Palmistry is today practised by three classes of people. 1. Professional palmists, most of whom are charlatans. 2. As a diversion. 3. By superstitious people who believe in it. A scientific study of the subject does not furnish any evidence that the lines of the hand have any special significance and no scientific person gives them any credence. Partnership A partnership is an agreement, usually written, between two or more persons for the doing of business or for the carrying out of any contract or for the accomplishment of any work. The partners may have equal ownership or it may be unevenly divided. In the equal partnerships, each partner has the same financial interest and share in the profits, and all the same right of control. In other partnerships, the financial investment or interests are unevenly divided, and the one who holds more than half interest controls the business, unless otherwise provided for in the partnership agreement. Partners may be in name only, and not own any of the property. Active partners are those who give practically all of their time to the conducting of the business. Silent partners are not likely to take any active part in the management of the business, but they may control it if their financial interest is sufficient. Under common law, no partner has a right to engage in any other business which would injure the partnership, unless permitted to do so by the other partners. The acts of one partner bind all of the rest. If one partner commits fraud in the name of the firm, the others are financially responsible, although they may have had no knowledge of his action. The partnership, or business, 
may or may not be liable for the private debts of any one partner. Usually, a partner cannot be held for more than his interest in the firm. Partnerships may be dissolved by mutual agreement or by judicial act, and it is usually to publish the dissolution of partnership in one or more of the local newspapers and to send notices of it to the trade. A limited partnership does not hold any partner or the concern itself liable for more than the amount of the property in the business, but a partnership will not be considered limited unless it is publicly announced. End of section 32「Section 33 of 1000 Things Worth Knowing」This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Eva Stays 1000 Things Worth Knowing by Nathaniel C. Fowler, Jr. Chapter 33 Patent Medicines It has been said, and with some degree of truth, that Americans are self-dosers, and that they are prone to attempt to cure themselves, even of serious diseases, without consulting a physician. The sale of patent medicines is enormous, although I think it is diminishing in volume due to the exposures which have appeared in many periodicals, and to the better education of people. A patent medicine, technically speaking, is a concoction or drug, or combination of drugs, claim to be a remedy or cure for a specific ill or for all the ills the human flesh is heir to. It is manufactured in large quantities and bottled or put up with attractive labels, with more or less directions given for its use. Many of the patent medicines are either absolutely ineffective or are positively dangerous. Many of them contain a large percentage of alcohol, which acts as a transient tonic and produces an exhilaration, which the sufferer is likely to consider beneficial. The effect of the alcohol soon wears off, and the taker is much worse for having swallowed it. Other patent medicines contain cocaine and other dangerous drugs, which should never be taken without the advice of a physician. The effect of some patent medicines is likely to be immediate and to appear to be efficacious. Some patent medicines, however, are made of pure drugs and are really valuable. I am, however, opposed to the use of patent medicines, even those which are carefully and scientifically compounded. It is obvious that the layman cannot diagnose his trouble and that the label on the bottle or the pamphlet accompanying it is likely to confuse him and in many cases make him feel that he is suffering from an ailment or disease which does not exist. Headache powders, cough medicines, tonics of all kinds, soothing syrup for babies should be conscientiously avoided unless prescribed by a physician. They are likely to contain dangerous drugs and may have no medicinal properties at all. Because a certain medicine has worked well with one person should not be taken as evidence that another can take it to his advantage. Similar symptoms may exist, and yet the root of the trouble be entirely different. Even if every patent medicine were pure and scientifically compounded, I would advise against their use, unless recommended by a physician, who is likely to diagnose correctly the trouble and to apply the right remedy. Physicians are not infallible. But every reputable physician is a graduate of a medical school, a reader of current medical magazines, and is constantly in touch, by experience, with other physicians and with human ailments. Even if he is not an expert, his close proximity to disease makes him far more reliable than the label on the medicine bottle. I would advise no one to place himself in the hands of any physician who is not a member of one of the great medical associations, maintained by both the allopathic and homeopathic schools. These associations will not admit into membership any one who has not been properly instructed and who is not reliable. Any physician of standing and with sufficient knowledge of the human body can obtain membership in these associations, and those who are not members may be looked upon with suspicion, although it is quite likely that some of them are reliable. But as they are outside the associations, they cannot have the facilities of consultation and experience, which are given to those in regular standing in an association. It is obvious that even one of ordinary ability who is educated in the profession is more reliable than one who doctors by his wits, even though he may appear to be successful. Although there are some charlatans in the profession who practice in their own interest more than that of their patients, the average physician represents the highest order of civilization. He knows at the start that his profession is not likely to bring him heavy financial return. He goes into it with his eyes open. He is under the strictest rules and regulations and cannot maintain his standing in the associations 
or with the public if he does not practice legitimately. He has every facility at his command, and although he is not always successful, he is far better to produce results than one who has not been properly educated, and who lacks experience and association with other doctors, and who has not had hospital practice. Every reputable physician has not only graduated from a medical school, but was given opportunity to practice in hospitals and elsewhere before he became a family physician. The so-called specialist began as a family physician, and gives his time somewhat exclusively to one disease or to surgery. The surgeon, while a regular physician, specializes in surgery, and comparatively few family practitioners will handle a serious surgical case, except in emergencies. They refer the patient to the skilled surgeon. The physician is both a curer and preventer of disease. I would advise everyone, no matter how healthy he may be, to consult a reputable physician once a year, and to be overhauled, so to speak. Most troubles can be obviated if taken in time. A symptom seemingly serious to the one having it may be of little consequence, and yet it may be the forerunner to an incurable disease. If a good physician is consulted in time, he may either obviate the trouble or prevent its rapid increase. No one should attempt to diagnose his own condition. Even the physician will not do so for himself, because no one can tell, by his feelings, what exactly is the matter with him, or what better be done. The physician, when sick, consults other physicians, if his troubles are of any seriousness. The expense of an annual examination need not exceed two or three dollars, and some physicians will make it for a dollar. They are likely to locate any trouble, although it may have just appeared, and the symptom be slight. They will prescribe a treatment which cannot fail to be of benefit to those who consult them. Therefore, I say, visit a good physician at least once a year, irrespective of your health. In every city, and in many of the towns, are practicing alleged physicians or doctors, who claim to be unusually expert and able to cure where others fail, or even to cure what cannot be cured. Some of them are graduates of medical schools and are really good physicians, but most of them are irresponsible and without real ability. Their methods frequently make the patient feel that he is being cured, and cured rapidly. They use appliances and drugs which have an immediate effect, usually to the patient's injury, or they practice the same as regular physicians do and give the patient false encouragement. It seems to me obvious that no so-called outside practitioner, who is not a member of the associations, can possibly possess any information or know of any method of treatment, which the regular physicians are unfamiliar these charlatans play upon the feelings of the patient, and it is said that some of them keep him sick for financial reasons. Therefore, I warn the reader against any physician who is not a member of one of the two great associations, and who is not recognized by the profession at large. Even though some of them are skillful, it is safer to employ a physician of standing than one who makes a business of practicing, and who is not answerable to the rules and regulations enforced by the associations, and who cannot, because of his removal from them, obtain and enjoy the privilege of consultation with other members of his craft. Do not take chances with your body. Better risk the few mistakes made by physicians than by your own doctor. End of section 33. Section 34 of 1000 Things Worth Knowing. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Adele Pooley. 1000 Things Worth Knowing by Nathaniel C. Fowler, Jr. Perpetual Motion Scientists, particularly early ones, made frantic and continuous endeavors to invent what was supposed to be perpetual motion that is, a machine which will keep perpetually in motion without being replenished or supplied with outside energy. About 60 years ago, scientific bodies refused to consider it, as it was proved to be impossible. The Scientific American, many years ago, likened perpetual motion to an energy which will permit a man to lift himself by his bootstraps. Petroleum Industry the annual production is considerably more than 9 billion gallons a year. Philippine Islands The Philippine Islands consist of over 3,000 islands, having an area of about 115,000 square miles. The population exceeds 7,500,000. 
and the density of population is about 67 to the square mile, as against 26 to the square mile in the United States. The climate is tropical. Pianoforte. The piano, or pianoforte, is said to have been invented in Italy and to have appeared in 1714. Germany, however, claims the honour of its invention. It was introduced into England in 1766. Plate glass. The sand, out of which glass is made, is melted until it is of about the consistency of molasses. It is then poured into a casting trough or a table mounted on wheels so it can be run close to the mouth of the furnace. The molten glass is poured into the trough through a sluice way, and before it hardens, heavy rollers pass over it, reducing it to the required thickness. It is rolled to about nine sixteenths of an inch, and then by further rolling and polishing, it is reduced to the required thickness. It further passes through a smelting oven, which thoroughly hardens it. Then it is again polished. Playing cards. The origin is unknown, although they appeared in Europe in 1350. It is claimed that the Arabs used playing cards at a much earlier date. It is estimated that over 16 million packs of playing cards are made annually in the United States. Pole Star This is a star of the second magnitude, found at the extremity of the handle of the Little Dipper. End of section 34。section 35 of 1000 things worth knowing。this is a LibriVox recording。all LibriVox recordings are in the public domain。for more information or to volunteer。please visit LibriVox。dot org recording by greg giordano one thousand things worth knowing by nathaniel c fowler jr chapter thirty five population and land area of the united states population per square mile population and land area of the united states divided by Geographic Division, Population, 1910, Land Area and Square Miles, in 1910. Continental United States, Population, 91,972,266. Land Area, 2,973,890 Square Miles. Geographic Divisions, New England, population, 6,552,681. Land area, 61,976 square miles. Middle Atlantic, population, 19,315,892. Land area, 100,000 square miles. East, North, Central. Population, 18,250,621. Land area, 245,564 square miles. West North Central. Population, 11,637,921. Land area, 510,804 square miles. South Atlantic Population 12,194,895 Land area 269,071 square miles East South Central Population 8,409,901 Land area 179,509 square miles West South Central Population eight million seven hundred eighty four thousand 
five hundred and thirty four land area four hundred and twenty nine thousand seven hundred and forty six square miles mountain population two million six hundred and thirty three thousand five hundred and seventeen land area eight hundred and fifty nine thousand one hundred and twenty five square miles pacific population four million one hundred ninety two thousand three hundred and four land area three hundred eighteen thousand and ninety five square miles new england maine population seven hundred and forty two thousand three hundred and seventy one land area twenty nine thousand eight hundred and ninety five square miles new hampshire population four hundred and thirty thousand five hundred and seventy two land area nine thousand thirty one square miles vermont population three hundred and fifty five thousand nine hundred and fifty six land area nine thousand one hundred and twenty four square miles massachusetts population three million three hundred sixty six thousand four hundred and sixteen land area eight thousand and thirty nine square miles rhode island population five hundred and forty two thousand six hundred and ten land area one thousand sixty seven square miles connecticut population one million one hundred and fourteen thousand seven hundred and fifty six land area four thousand eight hundred and twenty square miles middle atlantic new york population nine million one hundred and thirteen thousand six hundred and fourteen land area forty seven thousand six hundred and fifty four square miles new jersey population two million five hundred and thirty seven thousand one hundred and sixty seven land area seven thousand five hundred and fourteen square miles pennsylvania population seven million six hundred and sixty five thousand one hundred and eleven land area forty four thousand eight hundred and thirty two square miles east north central ohio population four thousand seven hundred and sixty seven population four million seven hundred and sixty seven thousand one hundred and twenty one land area forty thousand seven hundred and forty square miles indiana population two million seven hundred thousand eight hundred and seventy six land area thirty six thousand and forty five square miles illinois population five million six hundred and thirty eight thousand five hundred and ninety one land area fifty six thousand and forty three square miles michigan population two million eight hundred and ten thousand one hundred and seventy three land area fifty seven thousand four hundred and eighty square miles wisconsin population two million three hundred and thirty three thousand eight hundred and sixty land area fifty five thousand two hundred and fifty six square miles west north central minnesota population two million seventy five thousand seven hundred and eight land area eighty thousand eight hundred and fifty eight square miles iowa population two million two hundred and twenty four thousand seven hundred and seventy one land area fifty five thousand five hundred and eighty six square miles missouri population three million two hundred and ninety three thousand three hundred and thirty five land area sixty eight thousand seven hundred and twenty seven square miles north dakota population five hundred and seventy seven thousand and fifty six land area seventy thousand one hundred and eighty three square miles south dakota population 
five hundred and eighty three thousand eight hundred and eighty eight land area seventy six thousand eight hundred and sixty eight square miles nebraska population one million one hundred ninety two thousand two hundred and fourteen land area seventy six thousand eight hundred and eight square miles kansas population one million six hundred ninety thousand nine hundred and forty nine land area eighty one thousand seven hundred and seventy four square miles south atlantic delaware population two hundred and two thousand three hundred and twenty two land area one thousand nine hundred and sixty five square miles maryland population one million two hundred ninety five thousand three hundred and forty six land area nine thousand nine hundred and forty one square miles district of columbia population three hundred thirty one thousand and sixty nine land area sixty square miles virginia population two million sixty one thousand six hundred and twelve land area forty thousand two hundred sixty two square miles west virginia population one million two hundred twenty one thousand one hundred nineteen land area twenty four thousand and twenty two square miles north carolina population two million two hundred six thousand two hundred eighty seven land area forty eight thousand seven hundred and forty square miles south carolina population one million five hundred fifteen thousand four hundred land area thirty thousand four hundred and ninety five square miles georgia population two million six hundred nine thousand one hundred and twenty one land area fifty eight thousand seven hundred and twenty five square miles florida population seven hundred and fifty two thousand six hundred and nineteen land area fifty four thousand eight hundred and sixty one square miles east south central kentucky population two million two hundred eighty nine thousand nine hundred and five land area forty thousand one hundred and eighty one square miles tennessee population two million one hundred eighty four thousand seven hundred eighty nine land area forty one thousand six hundred eighty seven square miles alabama population two million one hundred thirty eight thousand and ninety three land area fifty one thousand two hundred and seventy nine square miles mississippi population one million seven hundred ninety seven thousand one hundred and fourteen land area forty six thousand three hundred sixty two square miles west south central arkansas population one million five hundred seventy four thousand four hundred forty nine land area fifty two thousand five hundred twenty five square miles louisiana population one million six hundred fifty six thousand three hundred eighty eight land area forty five thousand four hundred nine square miles oklahoma population one million six hundred fifty seven thousand one hundred fifty five land area sixty nine thousand four hundred fourteen square miles texas population three million eight hundred ninety six thousand five hundred forty two land area two hundred sixty two thousand three hundred ninety eight square miles mountain montana population three hundred seventy six thousand and fifty three land area one hundred forty six thousand two hundred and one square miles idaho population three hundred twenty five thousand 
594. Land area, 83,354 square miles. Wyoming, population, 145,965. Land area, 97,594 square miles. Colorado, population, 799,024. Land area, 103,658 square miles. New Mexico, population, 327,301. Land area, 122,000. 503 square miles. Arizona. Population 204,354. Land area 113,810 square miles. Utah. Population 373,351. Land area 82,184 square miles. Nevada. Population, 81,875. Land area, 109,821 square miles. Pacific. Washington. Population, 1,141,990. Land area, 66,836 square miles. Oregon. Population, 672,765. Land area, 95,607 square miles. California. Population, 2,377,549. Land area, 155,652 square miles. End of table. Population and land area of the United States. Population per square mile. Continental United States. The following summary shows, for continental United States, the total population, land area in square miles, and population per square mile of land area at each census, from 1790 to 1910 inclusive. Census year. 1910. Population, 91,972,266. Census year, 1910. Population per square mile, 30.9. Census year, 1900. Population, 75,994,000. 575. Land area, square miles. 2,974,159. Population per square mile. 25.6. Census year, 1890. Population, 62,947,714. Land area, square miles. 2 million 973,965. Population per square mile, 21.2. Census year, 1880. Population, 50,155,783. Land area, square miles, 2,973,965. Population, 16.9 per square mile. Census year, 1870. Population, 38,558,371. Land area, square miles, 2,973,965. Population, 13.0 per square mile. Census year, 1860. Population, 31,443,321. Land area, square miles, 2,973,965. Population, 
population per square mile, 10.6. Census year, 1850. Population, 23,191,876. Land area, square miles, 1,753,588. Population per square mile, 10.6. Census year, 1850. Population, 23,191,876. Land area, square miles, 2,944,337. Population per square mile, 7.9. Census year, 1840. Population, 17,069,453. Land area, square miles, 1,753,588. Population, 9.7 per square mile. Census year, 1830. Population, 12,866,020. Land area in square miles. 1,753,588. Population per square mile, 7.3. Census year, 1820. Population, 9,638,453. Land area in square miles, 1,753,588. Population per square mile, 5.5. Census year, 1810. Population, 7,239,881. Land area square miles, 1,685,865. Population per square mile, 4.3. Census year, 1800. Population, 5,000,000. 308,483. Land area, square miles, 867,980. Population per square mile, 6.1. Census year, 1790. Population, 3,929,214. Land area, square miles, 867,000. 980. Population per square mile, 4.5. End of table. Population per square mile. According to the census of 1910, there are, in continental United States, on the average, 30.9 inhabitants to each square mile of land area, or nearly seven times the number per square mile shown for the much smaller area of 1790 and nearly three times the number shown for 1860. The decrease in the average number of inhabitants per square mile at the census of 1810 and 1850 was due in each case to large accessions of thinly populated territory during the decade preceding the census. In the order of their density of population, the nine geographic divisions of the country rank as follows. Middle Atlantic, 193.2 inhabitants per square mile. New England, 105.7. East North Central, 74.3. East South Central, 46.8. South Atlantic, 45.3. West North Central, 22.8. West South Central, 20.4. Pacific, 13.2 and mountain 3.1 the changes in density from census to census correspond precisely with the changes in area and the total number of inhabitants it may be noted however that on account of the rapid increase in their population the pacific states in 1910 for the first time are approaching in density of population conditions found in the states between the mississippi river and the rocky mountains End of section thirty five. Recording by Greg Giordano, Newport Ritchie, Florida.
section thirty six of one thousand things worth knowing this is a librivox recording all librivox recordings are in the public domain for more information or to volunteer please visit librivox dot org recording by betty b one thousand things worth knowing by nathaniel c fowler jr puerto rico puerto rico contains about three thousand six hundred square miles and has a population of considerable more than a million the climate is tropical and the land is extremely fertile postage stamps they were invented in eighteen thirty four and were introduced into america in eighteen forty seven poultry and egg industry nearly five hundred million of poultry including chickens turkeys geese and pigeons are raised in the united states annually the total value is about two hundred three million dollars each year the production of eggs is about one billion six hundred million dozen the people of the united states eat about five and a half fowls per year per capita and a little over seventeen dozen eggs presidents of the united states one george washington two john adams three thomas jefferson four james madison five james monroe six john quincy adams seven andrew jackson eight martin van buren nine william henry harrison ten john tyler eleven james k polk twelve zachary taylor thirteen millard fillmore fourteen franklin pierce fifteen james buchanan sixteen abraham lincoln seventeen andrew johnson eighteen ulysses s grant nineteen rutherford b hayes twenty james a garfield twenty one chester a arthur twenty two grover cleveland twenty three benjamin harrison twenty four william mckinley twenty five theodore roosevelt twenty six william h taft twenty seven woodrow wilson principal countries of the world the first name read will be the country followed by the capital city followed by the area in square miles and lastly the population abyssinia addis ababa two hundred thousand eleven million afghanistan kabul two hundred fifty thousand four million seven hundred fifty thousand argentina buenos aires one million one hundred thirty five thousand eight hundred forty six million two hundred ten thousand four hundred twenty eight australia no capital two million nine hundred seventy four thousand five hundred eighty one four million one hundred ninety seven thousand thirty seven austria hungary vienna budapest two hundred forty one thousand three hundred thirty three forty five million one hundred seventy six thousand two hundred thirty belgium brussels eleven thousand three hundred seventy three six million six hundred ninety three thousand five hundred forty eight bolivia sucre six hundred five thousand four hundred one million nine hundred fifty three thousand nine hundred sixteen brazil rio de janeiro three million two hundred ninety two thousand nine hundred ninety one seventeen million three hundred eighty eight thousand five hundred fifty six british empire london eleven million three hundred forty three thousand seven hundred six three hundred ninety four million two hundred forty six thousand eight hundred eighty two bulgaria sophia thirty eight thousand eighty four million thirty five thousand six hundred twenty three canada ottawa three million seven hundred forty five thousand five hundred seventy four six million one hundred fifty three thousand seven hundred eighty nine chile santiago three hundred seven thousand six hundred twenty three million three hundred ninety nine thousand nine hundred twenty eight chinese empire peking four million two hundred seventy seven thousand one hundred seventy four hundred twenty six million forty seven thousand three hundred twenty five colombia bogota five hundred five thousand four million three hundred three thousand costa rica san jose eighteen thousand four hundred three hundred fifty one thousand one hundred seventy six cuba havana forty four thousand two million forty eight thousand nine hundred eighty denmark copenhagen fifteen thousand five hundred ninety two two million six hundred five thousand two hundred sixty eight ecuador 
quito one hundred sixteen thousand one million four hundred thousand egypt cairo four hundred thousand eleven million one hundred eighty nine thousand nine hundred seventy eight france paris two hundred seven thousand fifty four thirty nine million two hundred fifty two thousand two hundred forty five germany berlin two hundred eight thousand seven hundred eighty sixty million six hundred forty one thousand two hundred seventy eight great britain and ireland london one hundred twenty one thousand three hundred ninety forty four million five hundred thirty eight thousand seven hundred eighteen greece athens twenty five thousand fourteen two million six hundred thirty one thousand nine hundred fifty two guatemala new guatemala forty eight thousand two hundred ninety one million eight hundred eighty two thousand nine hundred ninety two haiti port au prince ten thousand two hundred four one million five hundred thousand honduras tegucigalpa forty six thousand two hundred fifty six hundred fifty thousand india calcutta one million seven hundred seventy six thousand five hundred seventeen two hundred ninety four million three hundred seventeen thousand eighty two italy rome one hundred ten thousand five hundred fifty thirty three million nine hundred nine thousand seven hundred seventy six japanese empire tokyo one hundred seventy five thousand fifty million luxembourg luxembourg nine hundred ninety eight two hundred thirty six thousand five hundred forty three mexico mexico seven hundred sixty seven thousand five thirteen million six hundred five thousand nine hundred nineteen montenegro setenai three thousand six hundred thirty two hundred fifty thousand morocco fez morocco two hundred nineteen thousand five million netherlands the hague twelve thousand six hundred forty eight five thousand seven hundred forty seven thousand two hundred sixty nine nicaragua managua forty nine thousand two hundred five hundred thousand norway christiania one hundred twenty four thousand one hundred twenty nine two million two hundred forty thousand thirty two panama panama thirty one thousand five hundred seventy one three hundred thousand paraguay asuncion one hundred fifty seven thousand six hundred thirty one thousand three hundred forty seven persia tehran six hundred twenty eight thousand nine million five hundred thousand peru lima six hundred ninety five thousand seven hundred thirty three four million six hundred nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine portugal lisbon thirty five thousand four hundred ninety five million four hundred twenty three thousand one hundred thirty two rumania bucharest fifty thousand seven hundred twenty five million nine hundred fifty six thousand six hundred ninety russia st petersburg eight million six hundred forty seven thousand six hundred fifty seven one hundred fifty two million nine thousand three hundred salvador san salvador seven thousand two hundred twenty five one million seven hundred thousand san marino san marino thirty eight eleven thousand four hundred thirty nine santo domingo santo domingo eighteen thousand forty five six hundred ten thousand servia belgrade eighteen thousand six hundred fifty two million four hundred ninety three thousand eight hundred eighty two siam bangkok one hundred ninety five thousand six million six hundred eighty six thousand eight hundred forty six spain madrid one hundred ninety thousand fifty eighteen million six hundred eighteen thousand eighty six sweden stockholm one hundred seventy two thousand eight hundred seventy six five million three hundred seventy seven thousand seven hundred thirteen switzerland bern fifteen thousand nine hundred seventy six three million four hundred sixty three thousand six hundred nine turkey and tributary states constantinople one million one hundred sixty five thousand twenty twenty five million four hundred fourteen thousand three hundred united south africa pretoria c t four hundred seventy three thousand one hundred eighty four five million four hundred fifty thousand two hundred seventeen united states washington three million five hundred sixty seven thousand five hundred sixty three eighty eight million five hundred sixty six thousand thirty four 
uruguay montevideo seventy two thousand two hundred ten one million one hundred forty thousand seven hundred ninety nine venezuela caracas three hundred sixty four thousand two million six hundred forty six thousand eight hundred thirty five end of section thirty six section thirty seven of one thousand things worth knowing this is a librivox recording all librivox recordings are in the public domain for more information or to volunteer please visit librivox dot org recording by wilkie mills one thousand things worth knowing by nathaniel c fowler jr section thirty seven printing presses there are three distinct classes of printing presses number one the ordinary job press which is used for the printing of cards letterheads billheads and other small matter it is run by power or by a foot treadle each card or piece of paper is fed into the press by hand and removed by hand the average speed is from one thousand to twelve hundred an hour but the most expert feeders can handle about fifteen hundred cards an hour and the record is not far from two thousand number two the cylinder press this press is used for the printing of weekly newspapers books catalogues and other large work the type is placed upon a flat bed having a lateral movement and the paper is fed by hand onto a cylinder which revolves over the moving bed these presses have a speed of from one thousand to two thousand an hour but comparatively few hand feeders can handle more than fifteen hundred or sixteen hundred sheets in an hour number three the perfecting press this press is used exclusively for the printing of large city newspapers and some books and catalogues are printed upon it the type matter is cast into a cylinder the paper to be printed upon stereotypes of circular form which are attached is in a continuous roll and passes between the stereotype cylinder and another roller the paper is fed into the press automatically and is automatically folded and counted the largest perfecting press in the world will print fold and count both sides of an eight-page paper at the rate of three hundred thousand copies an hour but the average perfecting press does not deliver more than seventy-five thousand copies an hour the perfecting presses used for books magazines and catalogues run at a much slower speed production of books in 1911, 8,183 books were produced by American authors, of which 1,024 were fiction, 917 were on theology and religion, 919 of essays and literature, 527 on hygiene, 734 juvenile, 685 of poetry and drama, 300 educational, 196 were devoted to the fine arts, and 86 to music. Public Debt of the United States The interest-bearing debt of the United States is $964,631,630, and the non-interest-bearing debt is $375,974,000, three hundred eighty nine dollars the united states has issued nine hundred forty six million two hundred forty two thousand two hundred seventy dollars in gold certificates four hundred eighty two million three hundred sixty seven thousand six hundred sixty six in silver certificates and treasury notes to the amount of two million eight hundred forty six thousand two hundred sixty dollars at the last accounting the united states treasury had on hand in cash one billion 
Public Schools The public school system originated in Massachusetts and Connecticut shortly after the settlement of those states. Schools were not entirely free when originally established. They have now become common all over the United States, and their maintenance is required by law. Pure Food Pure food laws enacted by the United States government and by state and city governments are supposed to protect the consumer against adulterated foods. The United States law, however, has no jurisdiction over food manufactured or put out in any of the states, unless it is carried from one state to another. The local food laws have to do only with the communities covered. The present law does not appear to be sufficient to protect the public fully. The statement written on many food packages, reading, quote, Guaranteed under the Food and Drugs Act, June 30th, 1906, number dash dash, close quote, must not be considered as proof positive of purity. It simply means that the contents of the package or bottle is according to the prescription or formula registered with the government and does not stand for quality or purity. Benzoate of soda and other preservatives may be legally used, providing a statement to that effect is made upon the package. Chemists differ as to the injurious effects of benzoate of soda, but it is not advocated by any eminent authority. Most of the pure food experts are opposed to its use, irrespective of any injurious effect it may have upon the consumer, because this preservative will effectively kill the odor of putrefaction and disguise the taste and smell of rotten or spoiled fruit and other products. The consumer will do well to refuse to purchase any article of food containing benzoate of soda or other preservative for first-class and healthy meat, fruit, and vegetables do not require a chemical preservative. Artificial coloring may not be injurious, as so little of it is required, but food artificially preserved may be dangerous, and very likely is impure, and may not have been fresh when canned. End of Section 37 Section 38 of 1,000 Things Worth Knowing. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Pam Jameson. 1,000 Things Worth Knowing by Nathaniel C. Fowler, Jr. Chapter 38. Pyramids. The pyramids were supposed to have been constructed between the 5th and 12th dynasties in Middle Egypt and not to have been used for tombs. They are built upon a square base, with sides facing the points of the compass, and the earlier pyramids were constructed of horizontal layers of rough blocks fastened together with mortar. In the centre of the pyramid, near the base, was built a chamber reached by a passage from the north side. It is said that some of them contain emblems or symbols which are now used in masonry. Whether or not there were masons at the time they were built has not yet been discovered. Many of the stones weigh as much as 30 tons each, and no one has yet been able to ascertain the power used for their transmission. Railroads The railroads of the United States employ nearly 1,700,000 men, or about 680 per 100 miles of track. The railroads occupy over 244,000 miles of track. The most powerful locomotive in the world runs in Virginia and weighs 540,000 pounds. The heaviest electric locomotive is maintained by the Boston and Maine Railroad and weighs about 192,000 pounds. The most expensive locomotives cost about $37,000 and an ordinary locomotive 
costs from $15,000 to $20,000. An ordinary box car weighs 36,000 pounds and a day coach about 112,000 pounds. Sleeping cars weigh from 115,000 to 152,000 pounds. The fastest short distance run on record was made by the Empire State Express at the rate of 112 and a half miles per hour. A New York train ran a distance of 44 miles in 33 minutes, or at the rate of 80 miles an hour. And a New York Central train made the distance between New York and Chicago, 965 miles, in 15 hours and 43 minutes, or at the rate of 62.5 miles per hour. A New York Central train ran a short distance at the rate of about 112.5 miles an hour, and a Florida train ran five miles at the rate of 120 miles an hour. During the last year, there were 5,483 accidents by collision and 8,215 by derailments and a total of 15,743 accidents. 318 passengers were killed and 16,386 were injured. 3,635 employees were killed and 142,442 injured. 6,632 persons not connected with the railroads and not riding on trains were killed and 10,710 injured. The number of passengers carried during the year was nearly a billion. The railroads of the United States, not including the switching and terminal companies, employ nearly 670,000 men, or about 678 men, to every 100 miles of track. Referendum A law by which all legislation may be referred to the people, either for its ratification or rejection. The initiative is a process by which any law may be enacted, if requested by a specified number of citizens. The initiative and referendum are becoming common, and their advocates believe that they are the solution to many of our political problems. Religious Denominations In the United States there are 95,800 Adventists about 5,635,000 Baptists, about 739,000 Congregationalists, about 1,534,000 Disciples of Christ, about 2,290,000 Lutherans, about 6,280,000 Methodists, about 1,944,000 Presbyterians, about 957,000 Protestant Episcopalians, about 312,000 United Brethren, about 71,000 Unitarians, about 53,000 Universalists, and about 13 million Roman Catholics. Roads the mileage of all public roads in the United States is about 2,200,000 miles there being a little over 59,000 miles of stone road and about 103,000 of gravel road. A sand clay road costs about $725 per mile, gravel a little over $2,000, macadam about $5,000 and bituminous macadam about $10,350. End of section 38 Recording by Pam Jameson. Section 39 of A Thousand Things Worth Knowing. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. A Thousand Things Worth Knowing by Nathaniel C. Fowler, Jr. Chapter 39 Round Table. Tradition says that it was modelled after a table made by Joseph of Arimathea, and was an imitation of the one used at the Last Supper. 
It is said to have had a seating capacity variously estimated at from 13 to 150. According to the legend dealing with King Arthur and his knights, it was a round marble table made by the enchanter Merlin for Arthur Pendragon. Later, it became into the possession of the King of Camelard, and was given by him to Arthur on his marriage to the king's daughter Guinevere. The term round table is much used in the United States and refers to a table, usually round, occupied habitually by the same diners. Royal Academy Founded in London in 1768, it is an association of artists and maintains a free school of art. It holds an annual exhibition of paintings and sculptures. Royal Society One of the most celebrated associations in the world organized in London in 1660 for the promotion of scientific investigation. School Statistics There are in the United States 36,260 men and 5,025 women acting as professors and instructors in universities, colleges and technical schools. The common schools contain nearly 18 million enrolled pupils with an average daily attendance of nearly 13 million. These schools employ nearly 525,000 teachers who receive an average monthly salary of about $62. The estimated value of public school property is considerably more than $1 billion, and the annual cost of maintaining these schools exceeds $426 million. Seasickness Although there are several advertised remedies which claim to prevent or to cure seasickness, it is probable that none of them are efficacious for all persons. Seasickness is not perfectly understood. Some people suffer from it and some don't. Of course, the condition of the stomach and liver has much to do with it. If one is bilious, he is pretty sure to become seasick. Before taking a voyage, it is well to diet or to live on plain food for a while. Do not remain in your stateroom or in the cabin. Get all of the fresh air you can. Lie down and don't refuse to eat sparingly. Many persons ward off seasickness by retiring before the vessel leaves the port. Some people, even sailors, suffer from seasickness with every voyage. A good remedy is an emetic, either warm salt water or warm mustard water. Seven chief virtues. These, as defined by the Roman Catholic Church, are as follows. 1. Faith. 2. Hope 3. Charity 4. Prudence 5. Temperance 6. Justice and 7. Fortitude 7. Corporal Works of Mercy According to the Roman Catholic Church, these are as follows. 1. To bury the dead 2. To clothe the naked 3. To feed the hungry 4. To give drink to the thirsty. 5. To shelter the homeless. 6. To visit those in prison. And 7. To administer unto the sick. 7. Deadly sins. According to the teaching of the Roman Catholic Church, these are as follows. 1. Pride. 2. Anger. 3. Envy. 4. Sloth. 5. Lust. 6. Covetousness and seven gluttony. End of section 39. Section 40 of A Thousand Things Worth Knowing. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. A Thousand Things Worth Knowing by Nathaniel C. Fowler, Jr. Chapter 40 Seven Liberal Arts A term applied during the Middle Ages to the following branches of learning. 1. Arithmetic 2. Geometry 3. Astronomy 4. Music 5. Logic 6. Rhetoric 7. Grammar Seven Spiritual Works of Mercy According to the teaching of the Roman Catholic Church, these are as follows. 1. To admonish the sinful. 
2. To bear wrongs patiently. 3. To comfort the afflicted. 4. To counsel the doubting. 5. To forgive offenses. 6. To instruct the ignorant. 7. To pray for the living and the dead. 7. Wise Men of Greece Applied to seven Greek sages, whose wisdom was embodied in the following maxims. 1. Solon of Athens, know thyself. 2. Kilo of Sparta, consider the end. 3. Thales of Miletus, sure the ship brings ruin. 4. Bias of Prien, most men are bad. 5. Cleobulus of Lindus, avoid extremes. 6. Pitagus of Mytilene, know thine opportunity. And 7. Periander of Corinth, nothing is impossible to industry. 7. Wonders of the Middle Ages 1. The Coliseum of Rome 2. The Catacombs of Alexandria 3. The Great Wall of China 4. The Leaning Tower of Pisa 5. The Porcelain Tower of Nanking 6. The Mosque of St. Sophia at Constantinople 7. The Ruins of Stonehenge 7. Wonders of the New World 1. Niagara Falls 2. Yellowstone Park 3. Garden of the Gods 4. Mammoth Cave 5. Yosemite Valley 6. Giant Trees and 7. Natural Bridge 7. Wonders of the World In ancient times, generally regarded as follows 1. The Pyramids of Egypt 2. The Hanging Gardens of Babylon 3. The Mausoleum of Halicarnassus 4. The Temple of Diana at Ephesus 5. The Colossus of Rhodes 6. The Pharaohs at Alexandria 7. The Statue of the Olympian Jove in Elis Shaving Lotions Hot water applied to the face after shaving removes much of the sting or soreness, and the use of bay rum, hamamelis or witch hazel, or almond cream, is to be recommended. A very good shaving preparation is made of equal parts of bay rum and hamamelis. Ship bells. Time. A.M. One bell at 12.30. Two bells at 1. Three bells at 1.30. Four bells at 2. Five bells at 2.30. Six bells at 3. Seven bells at 3.30. Eight bells at 4. One bell at 4.30. Two bells at five, three bells at five thirty, four bells at six, five bells at six thirty, six bells at seven, seven bells at seven thirty, eight bells at eight, one bell at eight thirty, two bells at nine, three bells nine thirty, four bells ten, five bells at ten thirty, six bells at eleven, seven at eleven thirty, and eight bells at noon. Time PM one bell at twelve thirty, two bells at one, three bells at one thirty, four bells at two, five bells at two thirty, six bells at three, seven bells three thirty, eight at four, one bell at four thirty, two bells at five, three bells at five thirty, four bells at six, one bell at six thirty, two bells at seven. Three bells at seven thirty, four bells at eight, one bell at eight thirty, two bells at nine, three at nine thirty, four bells at ten, five bells at ten thirty, six bells at eleven, seven at eleven thirty, and eight bells at midnight. The work on shipboard is done by watches, the crew being mustered into two divisions, known as a starboard watch and port watch. The day begins at noon and is divided into afternoon watch, noon to 4 p.m., first dog watch, 4 p.m. to 6 p.m., second dog watch, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m., first watch at 8 p.m. to midnight, middle watch, 12 a.m. to 4 a.m., morning watch, 4 a.m. to 8 a.m., and forenoon watch, 8 a.m. to noon. End of section 40 
Section 41 of A Thousand Things Worth Knowing. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. A Thousand Things Worth Knowing by Nathaniel C. Fowler, Jr. Chapter 41 Slavery Slavery is of a prehistoric origin, but was commercialized by the Romans, some of whom had as many as 10,000 slaves. In 1834, the British colonies emancipated nearly 800,000 slaves, and the Civil War wiped slavery out of the United States. It does not now exist in any civilized nation. Soap Many of the soaps upon the market are impure and even dangerous, and never should be used. Most of the standard white soaps, however, are pure and may be used freely. Cheap laundry soaps are not only impure, but injured the hands. And many of the highly perfumed soaps are highly better than laundry soaps. Thoroughly good soap can be purchased at retail for not exceeding 10 cents a cake, and for this price one can obtain really all there is in soap. Medicated soaps, except the antiseptic soaps recommended by physicians, have little or no value. The reader should purchase only the standard grade of soaps, and should never pay more than 25 cents a cake for any soap, because any price in excess of 25 cents is for perfume or represents exorbitant profit. Every physician is familiar with soap quality, and will gladly give you a list of reliable soaps without charge. There is no such thing as a complexion soap, except that all good soaps aid the complexion. There is no soap safe to use that removes pimples or keeps pimples or other skin troubles from coming. Soap has only one value, and that is its ability to assist water in cleansing the skin, except the antiseptic soaps, which may prevent contagion and which should be used by all who enter the sick room. 99% of the expensive soaps are no better, save for the perfume, than soap sold at 5 or 10 cents a cake. Solar System the solar system, of which the Earth is a part, consists of eight planets and the Sun, so far as has been discovered. Astronomers have located 465 asteroids, which are small bodies floating in space and with apparently established orbits. From time to time, astronomers claim to have discovered a new planet, but its existence is not as yet accepted. The following table gives interesting information. Sun Mean diameter 866,400 miles. Mercury, mean distance of Earth from Sun, 36 millions of miles. Sidereal, period, 87.969 days. Orbit velocity, 23 to 35 miles per second. Mean diameter, 3,030 miles. Venus, Mean distance of Earth from Sun, 67.2 millions of miles. Sidereal period, 224.701 days. Orbit velocity, 21.9 miles per second. Mean diameter, 7,700 miles. Earth, mean distance of Earth from Sun, 92.8 millions of miles. Sidereal period, 365.256 days. Orbit velocity, 18.5 miles per second. Mean diameter, 7,918 miles. Mars, mean distance of Earth from Sun, 141.5 millions of miles. Sidereal period, 686.95 days. Orbit velocity, 15 miles per second. Mean diameter, 4,230 miles. Jupiter, mean distance of Earth from Sun, 483.3 millions of miles. Sidereal period, 4,332.58 days. Orbit velocity, 8.1 miles per second. Mean diameter, 86,500 miles. Saturn, mean distance of Earth from Sun, 886 millions of miles. Sidereal period, 
10,759.22 days. Orbit, velocity, 6 miles per second. Mean diameter, 71,000 miles. Uranus. Mean distance of Earth from Sun, 1,781.9 millions of miles. Sidereal period, 30,686.82 days. Orbit, velocity, 4.2 miles per second. Mean diameter, 31,900 miles. Neptune, mean distance of Earth from Sun, 2,791.6 millions of miles. Sidereal period, 60,181.11 days. Orbit velocity, 3.4 miles per second. Mean diameter, 34,800 miles. End of section 41. Section 42 of 1,000 Things Worth Knowing. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Betty B. 1,000 Things Worth Knowing by Nathaniel C. Fowler, Jr. Some Things Worth Knowing. The people of the earth speak 2,754 languages or dialects. There are 640 acres and a square mile. The ordinary flour barrel contains 196 pounds of flour. What is known as a hand measure is 4 inches. The sun is over 92,500,000 miles from the earth, and the nearest fixed star is 16 billion miles from the earth. The stockyards in Chicago, which are the largest in the world, have 20 miles of streets, and the same number of miles of water troughs, with 50 miles of feeding troughs and 75 miles of drainage. The yards will accommodate over 20,000 cattle, 20,000 sheep, and 120,000 hogs at one time. They cost over $10 million. The average person inhales 2,600 gallons of air per day. Songs of the Civil War 1. Battle Cry of Freedom, George F. Root, Yes, We'll Rally Round the Flag Boys. 2. Battle Flag of the Republic, O. W. Holmes, Flag of the Heroes Who Left Us Their Glory. 3. Battle Hymn of the Republic, Julia Ward Howe, Mine Eyes Have Seen the Glory of the Coming of the Lord. 4. The Blue and the Gray, Francis M. Finch, By the Flow of the Inland River. 5. Brave Boys Are They, Henry C. Work, Brave Boys Are They, Gone at Their Country's Call. 6. Dixie, Southern, Albert Pike, Southrons, Hear Your Country Call You, 7, Dixie, Northern, T. M. Cooley, Away Down South Where Grows the Cotton, 8, John Brown's Body, John Brown's Body Lies a Moldering in the Grave, 9, Just Before the Battle, Mother, George F. Root, Just Before the Battle, Mother, I Am Thinking Most of You, 10, Marching Through Georgia, Henry C. Work, Bring the good old bugle, boys. We'll sing another song. 11. Maryland, my Maryland, Southern. Joseph R. Randall. The despot's heel is on thy shore. Maryland, my Maryland. 12. O oh, wrap the flag around me, boys. R. Stuart Taylor. 13. Tramp, tramp, tramp. George F. Root. In the prison cell I sit. 14. When Johnny comes marching home. Louis Lambert. 15. When this cruel war is over, Charles C. Sawyer, dearest love, do you remember? Harper's Book of Facts Spectacles and Glasses If you find it difficult to read, or your eyes become weak and tired, the chances are you need proper glasses. Don't attempt to fit them to yourself. Employ a first-class optician or oculist, the latter if the trouble appears to be serious. End of section 42 Section 43 of A Thousand Things Worth Knowing. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by phone. 
A Thousand Things Worth Knowing by Nathaniel C. Fowler, Jr. Sporting, Speed, and Other Records The following records are compiled from the latest and best authorities. Airship Records Highest altitude reached 17,881 feet Longest non-stop flight 635 and 5 eighths miles in 13 hours and 22 minutes Longest time in the air 16 and a half hours Automobile records 1 mile 25.40 seconds 2 miles 51.28 seconds 5 miles 2 minutes 34 seconds 50 miles 35 minutes 52 and a half seconds 100 miles 1 hour 12 minutes 41 and 1 fifth seconds 300 miles 3 hours 53 minutes 33 and a half seconds 500 miles 6 hours 21 minutes 6 and 3 tenths of seconds Baseball Baseball became the national game in 1885, although it was played to some extent as early as 1840. The first baseball club was known as the New York Knickerbockers, which was organized in 1845, and the first match game was played at Hoboken, New Jersey in 1846. The first rules governing baseball were made in New York City in 1857, and the National Baseball League was formed in New York City during the same year. The first champion team was that of New York in 1858, but it was not until 1868 that the salary team was in existence. The National League was formed in 1876, and the American League in 1881. The largest attendance at a baseball match was in New York, October 17, 1911, at which time 38,281 people were present. Billiards Straight rail, 5 by 10 table, best run, 1,535 points, made by Maurice Vigneault in Paris. Straight rail, 4.5 by 9 table, best run, 3,000 points, Jake Schaefer in San Francisco. 14-inch bulk line, anchor in, best run, 566, Jake Schaefer in New York. 14-inch bulk line, anchor barred, best run, 359, Frank Ives in Chicago. 18-inch bulk line, best run, 200, Frank Ives in New York. 18-inch bulk line, Best average, 50. Frank Ives in New York. 18-inch bulk line, no shot in. Best run, 111. Jake Schaefer in Chicago. 18-inch bulk line, no shot in. Best average, 19 313s. Frank Ives in Chicago. High run, 18.2 bulk line, 1009 single inning, W.W. Spink in Los Angeles. Bowling Individual three-game score, Thomas Halley, Detroit, 705. Endurance records Relay race Young Men's Christian Association Boys Carry Messages from New York to Chicago Time, 118 hours, 35 minutes Distance, 1200 miles Run suspended during Sunday, July 19 5100 miles, go as you please 51 miles per day for 100 days Track 44 laps to mile George D. Nuramac, New York 
four thousand quarter miles in four thousand periods of ten minutes walking a quarter mile at the commencement of and within each consecutive ten minutes performed twice by william gales at cardiff and at london england one thousand miles in one thousand consecutive hours walking one mile each hour by charles f morse at jackson michigan starting at one p m january eleventh eighteen ninety seven and ending at four a m february twenty second eighteen ninety seven track thirty nine laps to mile greatest distance walked without a rest a hundred and twenty one miles and three hundred and eighty five yards by c a harriman california walk from atlantic to pacific ocean john ennis started with a plunge in the surf at coney island new york monday may twenty third nineteen ten and arrived at the cliff hotel san francisco august twenty fourth nineteen ten and took a plunge in the weston's time by twenty five days ennis like weston did not walk on sundays End of section 43. Recording by phone. Section 44 of A Thousand Things Worth Knowing. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by phone. A Thousand Things Worth Knowing by Nathaniel C. Fowler, Jr. Sporting, speed, and other records. Hammer throwing. Eight pound hammer, two hundred and ten feet, three inches, by W. L. Condon in Maryland. Ten pound hammer, one hundred and forty feet and two inches, by W. L. Condon in Maryland. Hurdle racing, amateur. Forty yards, two feet and six inches, in five seconds by four smithson indiana f fletcher indiana t n richards indiana fifty yards three high hurdles indoors in six and one fifth seconds by four smithson portland oregon seventy five yards low hurdles two feet six inches in nine and one fifth seconds john j eller new york Jumping, amateur. Standing, without weights, 11 feet, 4 and 7 eighth inches. Ray C. Erie, St. Louis. Running high jump, without weights, 6 feet, 7 inches. George Horan, California. Jumping, professional. Standing high jump, with weights, 6 feet, 5 and a half inches. J. Darby, England. Running high jump without weights, six feet one inch by M. F. Sweeney. Marathon team race. Twenty six miles, three hundred and eighty five yards, two hours, two minutes, sixteen and one fifth seconds. Hans Holmer and William Queel, New York. Motorcycle records. 1 mile, 36 and 4 fifths seconds. 10 miles, 6 minutes, 21 and 4 fifths seconds. 100 miles, 1 hour, 15 minutes, 24 and 2 fifths seconds. Ocean records. From Queenstown to New York, SS Mauritania, 4 days, 10 hours, 41 minutes. The fastest day run was made by the same ship. 676 knots or a little over 27 knots per hour pole vaulting amateur pole vault for height 13 feet two and a quarter inches mark s wright new york 13 feet one inch robert a gardner philadelphia for boys 12 feet half inch roy mercer philadelphia Pole vaulting, professional. 11 feet 7 inches, 
M. H. Dickinson, England. Running records, professional. Twenty yards, two and one fifth seconds. R. P. Williams, New London, Connecticut. Fifty yards, five and one fifth seconds. R. P. Williams, New London, Connecticut. A hundred yards, nine and one fifth seconds. R. P. Williams, New London, Connecticut. A thousand yards, two minutes seventeen seconds. W. Cummings, England. One mile, four minutes twelve and three quarter seconds. W. G. George, England. A hundred miles, thirteen hours twenty six minutes thirty seconds. Charles Rowell, New York. Running records, amateur. Twenty yards, two and four fifth seconds. E. B. Bloss, Roxbury, Massachusetts. Twenty five yards, three seconds. Jack Connolly, Boston. Thirty five yards, four seconds. Arthur Duffy, Baltimore. Forty yards, four two fifth seconds, indoors. W. D. Eaton, Boston. Doc Thorny, Madison, Wisconsin, four and one fifth seconds. Fifty yards, five and one fifth seconds, indoors. Four line St. Louis. Fifty yards, five and one fifth seconds. J. H. Maybury, Wisconsin University. Fifty yards, on grass, five and two fifth seconds. A. D. Duffy, New Zealand. Sixty yards on grass, six and two fifth seconds. A. F. Duffy, Australia. Sixty yards indoors, six and one fifth seconds. Charles E. Seitz, Washington. A hundred yards, nine and three fifth seconds. A. F. Duffy, New York. Running distance, amateur. One mile, four minutes fifteen two fifth seconds. John P. Jones, Cambridge, Massachusetts. Two miles, nine minutes, nine and three fifth seconds. Alfred Shrub, Scotland. Three miles, fourteen minutes, seventeen three fifth seconds. Alfred Shrub, England. Four miles, nineteen minutes, twenty three and two fifth seconds. Alfred Shrub, Scotland. Shot putting. Amateur. Putting eight pound shot, sixty seven feet and seven inches, Ralph Rose, New York. Putting twelve pound shot, fifty seven feet three inches, Ralph Rose, New York. Putting twenty pound shot, thirty eight feet seven and a half inches, G. R. Gray, New York. Shot putting professional. Putting twelve pound shot, fifty feet and a half inch j d mcpherson putting twenty pound shot forty feet eleven and a quarter inch j d mcpherson end of section forty four recording by phone section forty five of a thousand things worth knowing this is a librivox recording all LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by phone. A Thousand Things Worth Knowing by Nathaniel C. Fowler, Jr. Sporting Speed and Other Records Skating, Amateur 50 Yards, 5 and 2 fifth seconds, Morris Wood, Pittsburgh a hundred yards, standing start, eight and three fifth seconds, J. S. Johnson, Minneapolis. Three hundred yards, thirty one and two fifth seconds, G. D. Phillips, New York. One mile, two minutes and thirty six seconds, Johnny Nielsen. Five miles, fourteen minutes twenty four seconds, O. Rudd, Minneapolis. Ten miles, thirty one minutes eleven and a fifth seconds j s johnson montreal twenty five miles one hour thirty one minutes twenty nine seconds 
fifty miles three hours fifteen minutes fifty nine and three fifth seconds seventy five miles five hours ninety minutes sixteen four fifth seconds a hundred miles seven hours eleven minutes thirty eight and one fifth seconds all made by j f donahue stanford connecticut skating professional a quarter mile against time flying start straight away twenty eight and a half seconds john s johnson minnesota a half mile indoor track one minute sixteen four fifth seconds w rankin cleveland one mile indoors two minutes forty eight and three quarters seconds john nielsen pittsburgh five miles forty minutes forty seven and one fifth seconds john nielsen montreal swimming forty yards eighteen seconds exhibition dick cavill portland oregon a hundred yards one minute one and a half seconds j nuttall stullybridge england a hundred and fifty yards one minute thirty nine seconds d billington swinton england two hundred yards two minutes eighteen and a half seconds d billington in england three hundred yards three minutes thirty two and one fifth seconds d billington in england five hundred yards six minutes six seconds d billington england a thousand yards twelve minutes forty five seconds d billington england three quarter mile seventeen minutes thirty six two fifth seconds david billington sydney new south wales one mile twenty six minutes eight seconds j nuttall in england twenty and three eighths miles five hours fifty one minutes fred cavill river thames london thirty four miles nine hours thirty nine minutes j wolf Herden Bay, England. Thirty five miles, twenty one hours, forty five minutes. Captain Matthew Webb, Dover, England to Calais. Forty miles, nine hours, fifty seven minutes. Captain Matthew Webb, with tide, River Thames, England. Seventy four miles, eighty four hours. Captain Webb, restricted to fourteen hours a day. Lambeth Baths england t w burgess swam english channel dover to cape greenez in twenty two hours thirty five minutes swimming women longest time under water four minutes forty five and a half seconds miss e wallenda england at barnley bath scotland miss ethel mckay swam two hundred yards in two minutes fifty seven and one fifth seconds Fifty yards, thirty one seconds by Miss Fanny Durack, New Zealand. Eighty yards, fifty six and a half seconds by Miss Elba Whittaker, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. A hundred yards, one minute six seconds by Miss Fanny Durack, New Zealand. A hundred yards, backstroke, one minute twenty six seconds, Miss Elba Whittaker, Milwaukee. Two hundred yards, Two minutes fifty one seconds, Miss Vera Neve, London, and Miss Daisy Kerwin in England. One mile thirty two minutes eight and one fifth seconds, Miss Mabel Fletcher in England. Open water thirty one minutes forty one four fifth seconds, Miss Vera Neve, Jersey, England. Trotting records quarter mile twenty eight and three quarter seconds. Lou Dillon, Brighton Beach, New York, August seventeenth, nineteen o three. A half mile, fifty eight and three quarter seconds. Lou Dillon, Cleveland, Ohio, September seventeenth, nineteen o four. One mile, one minute fifty eight seconds. Ulan with windshield, Lexington, Kentucky, October eighth, nineteen twelve. Two miles. Four minutes fifteen and a quarter seconds. The Harvester, Lexington, Kentucky, October thirteenth, nineteen ten. 
three miles six minutes fifty five and a half seconds nightingale eight years old nashville tennessee october twenty eighteen ninety three four miles nine minutes forty two seconds baron rogers moscow russia eighteen ninety nine five miles twelve minutes and twenty four seconds zambra nineteen o two ten miles twenty six minutes fifteen seconds pascal new york november second eighteen ninety three twenty miles fifty eight minutes twenty five seconds captain mcgowan boston october thirty first eighteen sixty five fifty miles three hours fifty five minutes forty and a half seconds ariel brown mare may fifth eighteen forty six albany new york the fastest mare made one mile in one minute fifty eight and a half seconds the fastest gelding a mile in one minute fifty eight seconds the fastest stallion one mile in two minutes one second walking records amateur seventy five yards eleven four fifth seconds harry fitzpatrick new orleans a quarter mile one minute twenty two one fifth seconds a half mile three minutes f h creamer new zealand one mile six minutes twenty two and four fifth seconds w murray australia walking records professional a quarter mile one minute twenty six seconds half mile three minutes and a half second one mile six minutes twenty two and a half seconds m h donovan westport new york two miles thirty minutes fourteen seconds h w raby in england five miles thirty five minutes ten seconds j w raby in england ten miles one hour fourteen minute forty five seconds j w raby england twenty five miles three hours thirty five minutes fourteen seconds w franks england a hundred miles eighteen hours four minutes w a hoagland in new york end of section forty five recording by phone Section 46 of 1,000 Things Worth Knowing. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Amelia Chesley. 1,000 Things Worth Knowing by Nathaniel C. Fowler, Jr. Standard Time. Until 1883, each city or district maintained its own time, usually accepting what is known as true time. This condition caused complications. For example, many railroad station clocks either gave two times or else there were separate clocks for each time, some of the trains leaving the station on what was known as New York time, while others left on local time. Banks and business houses closed on either of the times. There was no standard and no agreement. In 1883, Standard Time was established. The first section was known as the Eastern and covered all territory between the Atlantic coast and a line drawn from Detroit, Michigan to Charleston, South Carolina. The central section included everything between the Detroit-Charleston line and a line drawn from Bismarck, North Dakota to the mouth of the Rio Grande River. The third section, known as Mountain Time, included the territory between the Bismarck-Rio Grande line and the western borders of Idaho, Utah, and Arizona. The Pacific Time section embraced everything west of the Mountain Time line, up to and including the Pacific coast. There is a difference of just one hour between the sections, when it is 12 o'clock at Boston, Massachusetts, or at New York City, it is 11 o'clock at Chicago, and at San Francisco, 9 o'clock. The changing from so-called local or true time to standard time required clocks at Boston to be set back 16 minutes, New York clocks to be set back 4 minutes, Detroit clocks to be set back 28 minutes, 
St. Louis clocks to be moved ahead one minute, and San Francisco clocks to be set ahead 10 minutes. Standard time has been accepted by every state and by practically every city, although a very few cities and towns unprogressively hold to the former or true time. The Canadian Pacific Railroad, which has the longest mileage of any railroad in the world, is run on what is known as the 24-hour time. That is, the faces of its clocks, instead of bearing the figures 1 to 12, run from 1 to 24 inclusive. The timetables are rather confusing as trains are billed to arrive and depart at 1310, 1614, 2330, etc. This system appears to have only one advantage, that it eliminates the use of AM and PM. It is possible that it will be accepted elsewhere, and even generally, but not for the present. Star Chamber A tribunal made up of a committee of the King's Privy Council instituted or revived in 1486. It was supposed to have almost unlimited powers and to be exempt from any rules or law. It had the right to inflict any form of punishment except death. The term is now applied to assemblies or committees or others who conduct their investigations and decide upon questions in secret. Stars, their number. The number of visible stars is as follows. 19 stars of the first magnitude, 59 stars of the second magnitude, 182 stars of the third magnitude, 530 stars of the fourth magnitude, 1600 stars of the fifth magnitude, 4800 stars of the sixth magnitude, 13,000 stars of the seventh magnitude, 40,000 of the eighth magnitude, 100,000 of the ninth magnitude, 400,000 of the tenth magnitude, 1 million of the eleventh magnitude, 3 million stars of the twelfth magnitude, and 10 million stars of the thirteenth magnitude, 30 million stars of the fourteenth magnitude, and 56 million stars of the fifteenth magnitude for a total of 100,560,190 stars. End of section 46.